نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها صدق الله العلي العظيم All creatures in this universe experience the process of material and physical growth and development. But only man who stands unique in being the only creature in this universe who experiences spiritual and moral growth and development as well as physical. And his journey to attain this growth and this development and this perfection is the longest and the hardest. This journey is not easy. The Quran speaks about this journey. Ya ayyuhal insan, innaka kadihun ila rabbika kadhan famulaqih. O man, you are laboring laboriously. You are struggling. It's a hard struggle. On a journey to meet your Lord, ila rabbik. The end of this journey, the termination of this journey, is to stand before our Lord إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ كَدْحًا until you meet Him فَمُلَاقِيهِ We're going to meet the judge. We're going to stand before the judge. Many people in this life did not experience going to the superior court in this life. They lived for 70, 80, maybe 90 years. They never have been to any court. They've never seen any judge in their life. But there is a judge we're going to see and we're going to meet. We must stand before that judge. There is no escape. And that judge is going to determine our destination, our final abode. That judge is going to say, Either you go to the right or you go to the left. Some people in this life, they seek the attraction, the adornment, the beautification of their bodies, of their images, of their appearance. And they spend sometimes a fortune on cosmetic surgeries to fix their appearance. They spend a lot of money in this life. Men and women, some women go, and, and some men, not just women, they borrow money. They borrow money. They don't have cash money, but they borrow some money just to fix a small area in their, in their body, in their face, in their appearance. They travel, they travel to other countries, you know, for her treatment, for instance. Why? Because this is important for, for them. This is good for their self-confidence, for their self-value, which is nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's good as long as you don't overburden yourself with, with, with loan, it's okay. But very few people are concerned about their innermost, inner self, about their nafs. Very few. Very few people are seeking the adornment, the beautification, the improvement of their nafs, the inner soul. Very few. And God says, your nafs is your essence. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحْ Indeed. Is successful is the one 
who can beautify his manner, his akhlaq, his soul, his attitude, his behavior. Qad aflaha man zakkaha. On the other hand, if we fail in this mission and we don't pay attention to it, waqad khab. Khab means khayba. Khayba means disappointment, loss. Then we realize, not just in the akhirah, we realize in this life, before death, we realize that we wasted our life, our time, our money, our effort doing something else. We didn't work on the nafs. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَ And the deterioration of the innermost, the nafs, the deterioration of the nafs will cause an immense suffering and pain. For some people in this life, let alone the other. Imam Ali alayhi salam says, Man sa'a khuluquhu azzaba nafsah. Whoever his akhlaq is bad, his behavior is bad, his manner is bad, his attitude, he has an attitude. That person is going to suffer a lot. Azzaba nafsah. He's torturing himself. Azzaba nafsah. That person... One day he would look around, his wife is not with him anymore, his kids abandoned him, his neighbors, his friends, his parents, his brothers, they all abandoned him. He finds himself alone, lonely, living by himself. And sometimes he, a time would come that he would hate himself, let alone hating others, he starts hating himself. Man sa'a khuluqahu is going to suffer in this life if you don't have if you don't work on your inner self if you do not beautify and adorn your inner self you're going to suffer in this life Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wassalam again says Rubba azizan adhallahu khuluquh a prominent person in the community he's a prominent he's influential but then, adhallahu, his bad attitude brings him, earns him humiliation and disgrace. Rubba azizin, he's supposed to be dignified. He has wealth, he has influence, he has family. But because of his bad manner, because of his selfishness, this bad manner earns him, earns him disgrace. The leel, he becomes the leel. وَرُبَّ ذَلِيلٍ A person who has no major bank account, no properties, doesn't have that much family tree, is not influential, but his capital is akhlaq and manners. وَرُبَّ ذَلِيلٍ أَعَزَّهُ His akhlaq, her akhlaq are going to make them dignified. أَعَزَّهُ خُلُقُهُ His capital is not money. His capital are not properties. His capital, his asset, Ra'sul Mal, is his manners. He has good manners. He's an honest person. He's a clean person. He's a humble person. He's going to be dignified. People love this person. Have you seen yourself sometimes you fall in love with someone, you don't even know his father's name. You don't know his father's name. You don't know his family's who his family is. You don't care about who his family is. You don't care about that. You don't care about his bloodline. All what you care about is honesty, his integrity. This person is dependable, trustworthy. You put your trust in that person. And sometimes there is a person who is close to you. He is well known. He comes from this family tree, from this lineage. But you don't want to deal with that person. Because he's not reliable, he's not trustworthy, he's not honest. This is the meaning of the hadith. رب ذليل رب عزيز أعزه أذله خلقه وذليل someone who's not prominent أعزه خلقه his manners is going to earn him love and respect and dignity. One of the important Prelude for spiritual and moral transformation in this life 
is to recognize our faults, not to deny them. Is to recognize. God says in the Quran, Belil insanu ala nafsihi basira. Insan knows himself very, very well. We should not wait for others to come and point out to our faults and our mistakes and our errors. We know that. Belil insanu ala nafsihi basira. He knows. Even though he brings excuses, oh, I was angry today because I didn't have coffee in the morning. He starts to bring excuses for his shortcomings and his shortfalls and his, you know, assaults on others and for his aggression, for his abuse. He brings excuses. But at the end of the day, he knows. He knows about his errors. He knows about his weaknesses. He knows which area he's weak. He knows very well. And therefore, we have to recognize and we have to acknowledge. That is the first step. When you go to the doctor's office and you tell him about your health problem, if that doctor cannot diagnose your disease, your sickness, he's not going to be able to prescribe the right medicine, the right medication. First, he has to diagnose. This is the first step. Same thing. The first step for our spiritual growth, spiritual healing, is to diagnose. Sometimes when it comes to diagnosing it and recognizing it, people are of two types. Either they are ignorant about it, they really don't know, or they ignore it. They've been told about their weaknesses. You must correct this, this shortcomings that you have. You must work on it, but they ignore it. They don't pay attention. Many times we deny, we deny that something wrong with me. In the Bible it says, some people see the dust in the eyes of others, but they are reluctant to see the stalk inside their eyes. They don't see it. But if there is a dust in the eyes of others, they recognize it immediately. This is our nature. This is our nature. And therefore, we fail. Many people fail to transform, to change. Ramadan comes and Muharram comes and Safar and Rabi' al-Awwal and all these seasons and months and events. And we fail. We fail to change. Because we do not want to change. We are reluctant. We expect people to change, but when it comes to me, no, I am perfect, I am okay. People have to change. And we're going to mention next week, inshallah ta'ala, there are three, three steps that are necessary to recognize our pitfalls and our weaknesses. Three important steps, which we will discuss them next week, inshallah ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته عليا أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين 
وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيدي شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهما السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والإمام الخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فأما الزبد فيذهب جفاء وأما ما ينفع الناس فيمكث في الأرض كذلك يضرب الله الأمثال صدق الله العلي العظيم This life is a movie, like a movie from the beginning till the end. In the movie, there are, there is thrills and excitement and sensation and anticipation and, and laughter and tears sometimes. I've seen some kids when they watch movies, they, they stand, they can't sit, they jump, they become hyper. The same thing with this life. In this life, one day you are happy, the other day you are sad. Today you go to a memorial. Tomorrow you go to a wedding. After tomorrow you go to a baby shower. After that to a burial. One day to graduation. The other day someone is getting into the school in you. The other one is leaving. Two neighbors next to each other, two homes. One of them are celebrating a birth, the next door are commemorating a death. This is life. This is the cycle of life. Closed cycle, closed circuit. This is the pattern. Wherever you go, if you travel to Europe, to the Middle East, to India, to Africa, to rich country, to poor country, to the north, to the south, same story. Same story. Same thing is happening. This pattern does not change. We think that it would change if I travel and go to somewhere else. Remember, before I came to this country, sometimes I used to pass by some American embassies and consulates around the world. And I see the line. People are lining since 5 a.m., 4 a.m. to get the visa. So I would say to myself, wow, America is the greatest country. All those 300 million people who live there, they are genius. They are unique. Look at people, how they line up to go just to go to America. I came to this country, and I found it just like any other country, any other country. I've been to 48 states in this union, 48 states. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. People here... We have poverty, we have sadness, we have happiness, we have excitement, we have failure, we have success. All these things are found anywhere, anywhere in any village, in any other country. This is the story of this life. This is the story of this life. And we are, life is a movie, we are the producers, the directors, the actress and the actresses. And a day would come that we have to vacate. In some hotels, they come at 11 a.m. If you are still in your room, they knock at the door. They say, check out, because the next guest is waiting. We need to clean the room. In this life, we have to check out. They're going to knock at our door, and they say, the next generation are waiting. You have to make room. You have to make room. Check out. Some people are checking in. This is the story of this life. Nothing else. There is no different pattern. There is, nothing, there is nothing else that we have not seen. And this story, this scenario of this movie, started 10,000 years ago with Adam and Eve, and it is going to end with the last person in this life. Same pattern. Nothing is going to change. And God, in one sentence in his book, says, I'lamu, be certain. I'lamu means be certain, be assured, be assured. Inna al-hayatu dunya. I'lamu, I'lamu, 
أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب لعب it's a play ولهو diversion وزينة ornament وتفاخر boasting and bragging among you وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر vying for increase racing for increase in wealth and children وتفاخر بينكم في الأموال في الأموال والأولاد this is the story of this life this is the story of this life. Nothing else. And then it comes to a conclusion. And God says at the end, this life, he describes this life in one sentence. This lower life, this lower life is nothing but an enjoyment of delusion, not an enjoyment of reality. This enjoyment is a delusion, is not real. You make yourself happy with the toys that God has given you. Just like a six-month-old baby, give, they give him toys to pacify him. These toys are 25 cents in the market. It has no value. We keep ourselves busy with these enjoyments. But these are not the real enjoyments. Where is the real enjoyment? Where is the real work? Where is the real production? God says, فَأَمَّا الزَّبَدُ فَيَذْهَبُ جُفَاءً as to the froth, the foam, have you seen when you take off from the airport here? And sometimes you look at the ocean, you think there are small boats. But if you look closely, this is not a boat, this is not a ship, this is a foam, foam. Dissipates, vanishes immediately. This is zabad, the foam, the froth. فَأَمَّا الزَّبَدُ فَيَذْهَبْ Vanishes. And being cast off. Disappears. All this wealth and properties and games and positions in the government. These race that you see, people are racing to be a senator, to be a congressman, to be the mayor, to be the governor. How much lies they tell. Have you seen the ads before the elections? Have you seen how they attack each other? This is politics. It's all delusion. It's all, it's all corruption. Whether you go to the east or the west, exactly the same story. But God says, وَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسِ As for the thing that benefits mankind, فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْأَرْضِ Does not go away, does not vanish, remains, remains in the land, in the ground. فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَذَلِكَ يَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالِ What are these things that God says, يَنْفَعُ النَّاسِ They benefit mankind. And you can tap into them after your departure. They remain as your asset after your departure. These things, Sadaq al jariyah perpetual charity. The good work, the legacy you leave behind. You must leave a legacy, my friend, before it is too late. Because this life is going to take you little by little away from your main goal. This life entangles you, entangles you. And then it is too late. At the time of departure, you wake up, you have done nothing. You look back 60, 70 years, what did I do? Have you seen some people when they plan to travel? There are two types of people. Some of them, they plan two, three, four weeks, and they get prepared. Everything is ready for the departure. So when they leave, they leave with peace of mind. And I have seen some people on the way to the airport, he realizes that his passport is expired. On the way, he's going to. Or he, he, he leaves his, 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 his wallet behind. Or his iPhone behind. Or he realizes, well, he doesn't have a visa. Sometimes he goes to the wrong airport. I have a friend who went to the wrong airport. He didn't even check the terminal or the airport. He went to the wrong airport and he missed his flight. This is what some people do in this life. We go to the wrong terminal. We go to the wrong terminal. And then we start screaming at the time of death. Hatta idha hadara ahadahumul maut. Qala Rabbi, please. I left my wallet, my iPhone. I didn't get a visa. Give me two weeks, one week, three days to fix it. Rabbi rji'oon la'alli a'malu saliha. I have some debt to repay. I took a loan. I didn't repay the loan. 
I didn't do my prayers, my fasting, my hajj. I, didn't, I wasn't kind to my parents, to my neighbors, to my family. Too late. Allah says too late. لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا فِي مَا تَرَكْتْ قَالَ إِنَّهَا كَلِمَةٌ هُوَ قَائِلُهَا This is wishful thinking. Israel is on the schedule. Israel has many other appointments. He's not going to wait for you. صَدَقَ الْجَارِيَةِ صَدَقَ الْجَارِيَةِ Either educational institution, foundation, work on that. This is the infrastructure for the humanity. Or charity. Charity. A charity social work build an orphanage shelter some people who have no place to to sleep shelter some kids some widows or healthcare healthcare is also one of the good good infrastructures for this life and the akhirah these are the things that remain other than that yadhhabu jufaan it it vanishes and being cast off, you don't get it, you lose it. We have a few days, a few days of our life. Every day I wake up, there is someone who's younger than me, much younger than me, 20 years, 30 years younger than me, and I get the news that he left, he left this life. Let's think about this. When you go home tonight, before you sleep, Take some time to reflect on your journey and your legacy. Have we left? Are we leaving something behind? What is my legacy if I leave today or tomorrow? What is my legacy? What is my investment for the Akhirah? Allahumma khfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi' allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat Tomorrow, Saturday, we have the Arabic session and Nadwa al Arabiya. At 7 p.m., inshallah, we have not had this session for almost two and a half years because of the pandemic. So tomorrow, inshallah, Saturday, 7 p.m. And also, I'd like to tell you that our friends, the team who's working on the full-time Shia Islamic school here in Irvine are working very hard, very hard with sincerity, with dedication to accomplish this dream, inshallah. Inshallah ta'ala. And they need your help and we will keep you posted, inshallah. We will send you an email and tell you about the progress of this good foundational project, inshallah ta'ala. Allahumma aghfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat. Allahumma munna ala mardana bil shifai wal afiyah wa ajjil fi faraji imamina wa qaidina wa sayyidina sahib al asri wal zaman wa ila arwah al mu'minina wal mu'minat. Thawab al fatiha ma'as salati ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad.